All right, YouTube, we're back. Uh, we're gonna go grab the bucket. Try to do as many gone. endings from the first game as I can Stanley remember. Decided to go to the meeting. And uh, perhaps he had what new see how much we can uh, we can get through. Loving heroes today. Let's find out. So what have we not done yet? We've unplugged the phone. We've answered the phone. Uh, we've approached the red and blue door, which led to the game show. I don't think we can actually go through those doors. We've gone through the vent. Um, we've gone down to the parking garage. We've done both bent, uh, buttons in the mind control. We've tried to go down the escape route to like the bucket museum. We tried to, or we did the escape pod, or we exit the the boss's office and then come back this way. What else have we done? We've gone down the elevator. That leads to norm or the adventure line normally, and that was the bucket destroyer machine. Uh, what else is there to do? Uh, I think in earlier I said that we haven't jumped from the Stanley warehouse down the bucket tightly to, to the ground this was not and killed ourselves yet. Meeting room. And we haven't stepped the on the cargo elevator and stepped him off that of the it. So let's lounge do both of those was simply things. the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. And at some point, wrong. we do have to go back to Stanley took the door on his left to go the achievement to the machine room. because that uh, text earlier said that it's fixed now. And we have yet no, to figure out the settings. The world bucket. champion. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo All lift. Right. So let's just fall down with the bucket. I remember earlier in the game when we fell a long distance, uh, the narrator said that Stanley landed on the bucket and it cushioned our fall, so will the bucket come in clutch here too? But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hello? This is not our office building. Is this the one from the first game that had the whiteboard ending? All of his co-workers were gone. What oh, yeah, here it is. Stanley decided to go to the Dog meeting mode. Room. Perhaps oh. he had simply missed a memo. I guess since we're in Unity and not Source, we can't open up the Source console to type in uh, a command. So it's just a it's just a check mark now. There's our uh, classic bark. Now this, then he thought to himself, this oh, is what a is bucket. This door? Okay. And indeed it was. Stanley pressed the bucket upon I'm surprised this is the first time we've come across this Nothing version of the office. To the touch, I feel like in the original Stanley to Parable, Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. I feel like in the original Stanley Parable, we ended up in this area a lot more often. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to All right, his chest, so now we're going this to, was not the correct way to immediately the step off Stanley of the cargo lift the bucket after it starts him, moving. Telling him that the Let's employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? And was, was there... there no, never did mind. the narrator the say anything wrong. different if you leapt from Stanley the platform the to the ground? To go back to the meeting room. Or was it just the same as no, normal? said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Well, from here, it looks like the only way forward is down, since the lift won't be coming uh, back. But that's okay. You've got a bucket. I do got the bucket. Did you know that buckets are routinely used as Yeah, well, it didn't devices. work this last it's time. True. You can fall on a bucket from literally any height and survive. I'm... I'm... Let's fall from over here, because, you know, it's slightly lower to the ground, right? And if I land on one of these shelves, that'll be even a shorter distance, so... Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Okay, so th these endings are pretty rapid fire, so... Uh, what else is there to do? What have we not done? Um, I do kind of want to go back to the new content area and see if we can get back to the expo area and uh, see if that achievement machine actually is working. And I do want to figure out the settings world champion 
thing so that I can get through that door. But, uh, I have not figured out how, how to actually get that to open yet. How long was I sitting But, uh, there? is there any Stanley other normal himself. Stanley Parable Minutes, endings we haven't days, done with the bucket yet? Centuries? Did something crucial happen? Finally, yes. The bucket. Yes, yes, yes. I love that bucket. Can we take the bucket to the new content area? Alright. So, left door is garage down the stairs. Uh, mind control, which is the two buttons. So, those endings. The pit bottom. The escape to the museum. Is there anything else on the left side? Right side, I feel like we've just went through all of those pretty much today. Let's take the bucket through the new content and see what oh, happens. New content? What does that mean? New content? Because I'm 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 like running out of a uh, running out of stuff to do with the bucket that we've done in the first game that we haven't done with the bucket yet. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. All right, so this is all as you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video going game normal, but we have the bucket with us on right home now, computers. So. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world Because this, this is just going to take us to the jumping circle and then step to that whiteboard that says thank you for experiencing the, the new Parable content. Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. But now we have the bucket I'm very us, excited so to see the thrilling new anything. Ultra Deluxe content. But the narrator isn't, you know... Wait, Stanley. I've just now realized that bucket you're holding. Okay, I was gonna say he should have said something by now. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? This this makes no sense at all. That's great. Hold on. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? No. I don't remember not. doing that at all. Yeah, all let's go back there. All out of order. I need to go back there anyway, so uh, we've totally never done this before. Oh, zero jumps All still. Right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. I'm. It's like never going to refresh, is it? Like after we used those jumps the first time we got here, that was it. That was it for the whole game. It's it's never coming back. Infinite hole, the giant door. Did you see them already? The giant Stanley, door. None of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look? Did we see when a giant door? Them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured did out we how miss the hell to make a sequel to this game? <laughs> no, I'm really confused now. What, what what giant door? I remember the infinite hole, but what is he talking about? Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes, you carrying the bucket <laughs> with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. <laughs> Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you, clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am it, it victorious cut off again. over That's the so gamers. Weird. It is a that. sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. I win. <laughs> I win. I win. I win. Although I win, a lot I of win, the endings, win, he was complaining about us taking the bucket anywhere. So which one is it, narrator? So is the new new content like the neon sign? Is that going to be there now? Can we go All back to the the showcase? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps 
One man, one bucket. One chance to seize their destiny okay. together. So... Is this just gonna... Oh, okay. Return to the Stanley Parable 2. So what's gonna happen if we have the bucket and we go to the room where he showcases the bucket? There's so many different things that could happen right here. Hopefully, we can get that achievement, though, for pulling the lever on that machine now that the game claims it's fixed. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Big reveal. Which is why I'm very proud to announce. Pretty sure the first this isn't for the first time. The Stanley Parable Two. I'm really curious about. The giant door he mentioned. Yes, you see, am I just far forgetting to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel, an entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. All right, so there's a couple things I'm curious about. Curious about is a. Uh... Can we get that Calling achievement? Stanley Parable 2 Will bringing so the bucket to the bucket room deluxe, do something? Ultra also, even mean? But the Stanley will falling Parable down 2? the infinite now hole with the bucket do something? Statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've All been right. developing for. I am it. very curious. I figure that if I can loosen the bucket, will the bucket not be in the, in the concepts? That surely display? the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of can a we fuzzy place it on the pedestal? than anything pedestal? scientific. Wait. There are two buckets here. There's no bucket. How did you get a second oh, there it bucket? Is. <laughs> oh no. The warmth and comfort of a single bucket is already so great, oh. <laughs> so intoxicatingly wonderful. With two buckets, there's no telling. Stanley, can you still hear me? Oh. Are you with me? Oh. That scared me. Stanley! Oh, oh thank God. I didn't oh no! Me. Stanley, the power of two buckets was Did they both much. explode? I had to destroy both of them. No! I know how much the bucket meant to you. But I couldn't take the risk. I hope one day you can forgive me. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to see what happens if we took the bucket to the infinite hole, but uh, he <laughs> he destroyed both of our buckets. I was excited uh, for the opportunity to carry two buckets around. All right, let's go to the achievement You're on. machine. Try out some of the new features. So now we just don't have a bucket at all. So if we go back to like the uh, the, the the main office building, is our bucket not going to be there anymore? Is he going to give us a third replacement? Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement right, that got so left in the four, game on accident? No, four well, lights are developing on. Now. A technology okay. To simply give let's, you let's, the achievement. Let's see if it works now. Yes. You see, you'll come to this oh. lever, and when you pull it, the achievement. Oh, I actually got it. I actually got it. See, the machine is not working yet. Since what? Wait. What in the hell? You can't see it on the stream, on? but I got the you steam got achievement. The achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? <laughs> Composure. He's having an existential yes, crisis. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal yep. as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. 
What happens if we go back to the col collectibles what area? Else? What other exhibits? What number were we yet? at? Because we collected a ton of them in that desert cave area. So like, oh, out of order. Dang. All right, so we don't have a bucket, so that kind of shoots a hole in trying different things in this area with the bucket. So we're not going to go back to the infinite hole. Uh, I don't want to quite exit yet because there's still that stupid door up there that's been bothering me, the settings world champion. And... I know that uh, An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes. We yes, attempted we'll the to the, um, slowly well, scroll we'll through all later. the numbered settings to get every number, but uh, I think when I found out that there was an extra setting that I had been missing, I kind of sped through that one. It was the uh, subtitle background opacity. So let's go slowly through this one too. I'm pretty sure this is the only one that we didn't like take our time with. Come on, number one, please. Oh, we're gonna use the mouse or the touchpad again. No, no, come on. Come on. All right, I think I saw the number one. Mm, no, that didn't seem to do anything. Now I don't remember what number it was at uh, default. Whoops. Alright, so now I'm like really confused because I thought maybe it was just because I uh, had gone super fast the first time that we attempted to do all these. And I don't even, I, I'm not even like 100% sure if it's even these settings that it's referring to because like I said, that, uh, that pre-game text that shows up whenever you boot the game it also had uh, slider settings. Uh, most of them were jokes, but... And like I said, I don't know if uh, you have to do them quickly, if that's like a stipulation also. Did we do audio? Because uh, if I can't figure it out, I'm going to have to look it up. If this does not work, you might also have to toggle the different language modes to see the sliders in every different language. Cycle through the languages after all sliders have been completely checked. Okay. I'm assuming that would be an audio then? No. Languages. English. Oh, do we have to do this for everything? Okay, we're going to go really fast. Okay. Well, we're back to English, and that, uh, going through all the languages didn't seem to do anything. Show trend. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There, uh, I didn't realize that th this was a thing. So wait, now do I have to go through all the languages and change the, change the translation label opacity? I never noticed that was actually a thing. No, because I went through every language and that didn't do it. I'm so confused. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I hope. Do we have to do that with every single language now too? Because I might just have to do that <laughs> off camera because... I'm like really, really struggling to get this achievement. And if I have to go through meticulously every single slider to hit every single number with all the different languages, we're going to be here forever. So I know we're already at the door right now. We'll have to do that 
or get that achievement off camera because I just I can't right now. I can't do that. So oh what? Oh I think that's from that setting. The show translation labels. All right. So what else is there to do? I think we've done all the different things in this area besides the settings world champion. Like I said, we'll have to do that off camera or get that achievement. But uh, as far as the expo area goes, especially now that I lost my bucket, I don't think there's anything else to do. And I'm really struggling to think of endings from the original Stanley Parable that we haven't done with the bucket yet. There was the input computers. And I know we tried to do that the other day too, but it seems to reset whenever you start a new game. But uh, I do have to start getting ready for work. So I think I'm going to end the stream here. And like I said, uh, today was going to be the last time that we just kind of went about our own way of finding the endings like wandering around trying to figure them out on our own i think when we stream next i'm not going to look up what the endings are or like how how they play out but i will write out a little guide of all the endings that we've yet to get and like the general steps of how to achieve them for the next time that we play and then uh, off camera, I'll try to get that achievement, the settings world champion. And then um, we'll do the input sequence. So we'll, we'll try to do all those things and wrap any loose ends up uh, when we come back. So for the people watching on YouTube, I'm going to end this recording right here. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, episode and these last few episodes from today's stream. And uh, I will see you the next time that we play.